This is painful. Please. I have said repeatedly in this campaign that the president is my opponent, not my enemy. And I wish him well, and I pledge my support in whatever advances the cause of a better America. Is that what the race was about in the first place? A better America as we go into the next century. I accept the finality of this outcome, which will be ratified next Monday in the Electoral College. And tonight, for the sake of our unity as a people and the strength of our democracy, I offer my concession. I also accept my responsibility, which I will discharge unconditionally, to honor the new president-elect and do everything possible to help him bring Americans together in fulfillment of the great vision that our Declaration of Independence defines and that our Constitution affirms and defends. And I wish you know, know how much uh, that I could have brought this race home for you, for them. And I say to them now, don't lose faith. What you did made a difference. And building on itself, building on itself, we go on to make a difference another day. I promise you, that time will come. The time will come, the election will come. A little while ago, I had the honor of calling Senator Barack Obama to congratulate him, please, to congratulate him on being elected the next president of the country that we both love. In a contest as long and difficult as this campaign has been, his success alone commands my respect for his ability and perseverance. But that he managed to do so by inspiring the hopes of so many millions of Americans who had once wrongly believed that they had little at stake or little influence in the election of an American president is something I deeply admire and commend him for achieving. This is an historic election, and I recognize the special significance it has for African Americans and for the special pride that must be theirs tonight. Thank you. I have just called President Obama to congratulate him on his victory, his supporters and his campaign also deserve congratulations. I wish all of them well. We have seen that our nation is more deeply divided than we thought. But I still believe in America, and I always will. And if you do, then we must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. And we were getting ready for a big celebration. We, we were winning everything, and all of a sudden it was just called off. The results tonight have been phenomenal, and we are getting ready. I mean, literally, we were just all set to get outside and just celebrate something that was so beautiful, so good, uh, such a vote, such a success. The citizens of this country have come out in record numbers. This is a record. There's never been anything like it to support our incredible movement. Now I know folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> but we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power.